Um, there are some great scenes with Terran Zoo uses where Terran Zoo uses symbolic metaphors and parables, like the Master Po from Kung Fu from the Kung Fu series. What inspired you to flesh out these or, the Oriental vibe in the backbone of the novel? Well, you know, the the, the the novel itself, obviously, set in Pandaria, has a very strong Asian influence. Right. Um, for a lot of work that I've done in the past, both the, the Battletech novels that I did, which had both Japanese and Chinese influences in it, and then I did a, a fantasy series called The Age of Discovery, which was very, very Asian, very Chinese okay. in its, its influence. Uh, you know, I always find that, that philosophy and, and the, the Asian longer view of things right. uh, fascinating, mainly because I'm an American and we have a... 200 year exactly, view of things, exactly, you know? not thousands of years. Right, yeah. exactly. I mean, I, I, at the beginning of July, I was in, I was in, uh, in Prague for a week, uh, and I stayed in a hotel that was older than America. Oh, wow. So you know, it's it's just one of those That's things. Cool. Of, yeah, yeah. So you know, um, yeah, we take that for granted sometimes. Exactly, yeah. and and so and so I find that I find that really, really fascinating, and it's also, you know, Americans tend not to contemplate a lot of things. We're just go go go. And, and so the idea of being able to to offer those examples and challenge uh, with them, I thought, tells you a lot about Pandaria and about their culture. Yeah, that's true. But it also, because Chen is only halfway there, mm -hmm. it tells you a lot about Chen yeah. and, and, and the wandering yeah, Pandaria culture. Yeah, it's a good time. Exactly. Right. Yeah. And then you get to see how Vol'jin and Tarathin, both Horde and Alliance, come to have their understanding about that culture. Okay. And, and so it was really, it was, it was to provide that that general background and sense of Pandaria, but also give our, our characters something to think about. Because literally, when you think about it, and this is just something that, that authors do, every one of the characters had to consider those sorts of puzzles. Right. And so you got to see how each one of them thinks and thinks differently from the other. And that just goes a little bit more into characterization yeah. and saying, okay, Chen sees it this way, this, you know. Exactly. And so it helps you understand the characters better. That makes sense. Uh, what was the purpose of bringing Vol'jin to the Shadow Pen Monastery? The purpose there was to, uh, again, uh, start him uh, start him to learn about Pandaria and also to give the Shadow Pen uh, a, a horde character, a strong horde example, right. to begin to understand the horde. The horde yeah. You know, they already had Tarathen, so they could begin to understand the alliance. Okay. But then again, they also now, having a horde character and alliance character there, right. they also got to watch how they interacted and begin to understand that. because yeah, the whole war and everything. Right. right. For the Shadow Pan, obviously, you know, for them... Learning about their two enemies is going to be really, really important. Yeah. Learning how they interact. And obviously, with the Zandalari and what they're doing in Pandaria and, and with the Mogu and what they're doing in Pandaria, you know, the ability of the, uh, the, ability of the uh, Shadow Pan to manipulate or to figure out how to ally with uh, or, or unite even the Horde and Alliance forces, right. if any of those things are going to happen, uh, becomes really, really important. Um, how do the experiences with the Shadow Pan and their teachings, teachings ultimately change Vol'jin's mindset and soul to face his return to Duratar? Well, I think, you know, by the time you get to the end of the novel, it, the, the, the real question that, that Vol'jin has been asking throughout, and, and if you want to reduce it to this, I mean, uh, uh, Shadows of the Horde is Vol'jin's midlife crisis novel. Okay. Okay, he doesn't get a blonde and doesn't get a Ferrari, but, right. but what he gets is a chance <laughs> at, at uh, you know... It's a great analogy. But, it, but, I mean, it really is, you know, and so... And so he's basically, you know, he was left for dead. I right. mean, metaphorically, the old Vol'jin is dead. Right. Uh, and so he has this unique experience of rebuilding himself as he wants to to face the future. So, you know, Vol'jin 2.0 suddenly is the guy that is going to be able to move forward. And what the Shadow Pan gave him a chance to do is, through their philosophy, give him perspective on his life and also show him that, look, you know, Horde and Alliance, the way they were, the way they are, is not necessarily what is going to be best for you, for the trolls, for everybody involved. Yeah. So they gave him points of being able to make a decision. As okay. well, obviously, you know, he's working, he's worked with uh, Tarathen, and that gives him a perspective on, you know, an alliance. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so all in all, we were giving him a lot of data, okay. and as he recovers himself, and I think by the end of the by the end of the book, he's in a place to make a really good decision about yeah. what he wants to do going forward. That makes sense. Um, how did the Zandalari fit into the Vol'jin storyline? 
was it pre was it predetermined in the guidelines from Blizzard to bridge the novel with patch 5.2 in the Thunder Isle? Uh, absolutely, yeah. Okay. So there was that was uh, we knew that that was going to be going on, and we knew that this novel sort of is a is sort of a, a sidebar story uh, right. to okay. to what's going on in the you know in in the course of the novel, or at least that, that's how it was originally. How much stuff gets incorporated, you know, back and forth. That's all on the game design side. Okay. So. And then, who decided to include the female Zandalari Kalak? Um, that was my choice. Uh, we needed a villain, okay. uh, and uh, uh, she was just very easy to uh, easy to put in, easy to slip into uh, as, a, as a silent partner in some of the previous cutscenes and and other material that you've seen, um, and to have. Uh, to have her being uh, very attractive, okay, um, by her having a certain amount of power, and by by her being able to offer that to Vol'jin, suddenly there is yet another inducement for Vol'jin to think about tying his fate to the Zandalari. Okay, um, and so it was it was there to be a, an attraction, um, and and so that was that was what I was looking at. So I just felt that she would be a good character. Plus. A lot of other books I've done, I've had you know good female villains and right. readers tend to like that. So, so what role does Zandalari and Kalak play in terms of Vol'jin's character growth? You know, if you will, again, uh, uh, you know, another analogy: uh, she and the Zandalari are essentially, you know, Satan tempting Jesus in the forty days in the desert. Okay. You know, because they say, look, you know, this can all be yours. Right. We will, we will make, we will make the dark spears first among us. We will give you all of this glory. We will do all of these things for you. All, right. all you have to do is is say yes, and we right. go. Come to our side. Exactly. And 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 he has to make a decision. Then does does he want to do that or not? And you know, quite honestly, he knows that if he says yes, he knows that Tarathan and Chen and and the the, the monk who's left, that he knows they're dead. Right. Um, and so there is a. If there's a yeah. there's an immediate there's cost, a there. right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, immediate cost right there for him to make that decision of. But also, you know, I think those three characters sort of stand as as surrogates for the Dark Spears in general. Yeah. Because if these guys would kill his friends, <laughs> then you know, yeah. yeah, yeah, the Dark Spears are not going to be not going to be happy. No, yeah. no. Well, and they're going to be on the menu later. Right. You know how, exactly. how easy is it going to be for them to say, "Oh yeah, you Dark Spears, first into battle." Okay, yep. now they're wiped out. You know, we're yep. good to go. Um, what was your experience writing a troll versus like a typical uh, fantasy protagonist? Um, you know, in, in writing fantasy novels, and, I, and I've done a lot of them, uh, you end up writing non-human characters, and it, and it can be very, very tough. Okay. Um, largely because you have to make sure that you get inside their head so that they act like a non-human. Right. And yet you've got to explain it in ways that human beings can understand. understand. Yeah. Exactly. And so, and, and so for me, you know, it was very much keying in on, on his fearlessness and his arrogance and his intelligence. Okay. You know, and those three things I think all of us can understand on, on one level or another. Absolutely. And, and you know, and even if, if somebody has a negative reaction to his being arrogant the, the way he is in certain areas, you have to acknowledge that's how a troll would be. Yeah. You know, but it, but it, it says, okay, yeah, this isn't a human being. And, and again, the scene I referenced earlier, when he's running around inside uh, Tarathon's memories, inside Tarathon's skin, uh -huh. just the fact that Vol'jin is able to go, oh my god, these, these things break easy. Right. Um, you know, that's, Not what I'm used to. <laughs> exactly. Much different. You know, again, that, that gives you that perspective. Uh, what other areas and characters of the Warcraft mythos have you found yourself interested in? Oh, you know, I think I, what I found is, is, is both through, through playing and just reading and, and, and the mythos, I find all sorts of characters just fascinating. Okay. I mean, I really I find the world to be just be a lot of fun, and I can see uh, writing stories about a lot of different characters. You know, writing writing it just I, I I love werewolf type things. So you know, Worgen, right. you know, that would be fun to do. Right. Um, but you know, one of the things that I do in every game that I play is I always have a human have a human character. So someone like Tarathin, you know, is a character. That, is, is my usually my first entry into the world, right? Okay. And so that's how I understand the world best. That makes I mean, sense. If, if if I got asked back to write, you know, some Tarathan short stories or something, right. boy, yeah, I'd be all over that. That'd be, over be, that'd okay. be yeah. That's my next question: is Is there anybody else you'd be interested in writing more on that you already know, or your existing characters? Well, I think you know any of the big three in the in the book: um, uh, Tarathan and uh, uh, Tarathan, Vol'jin, and Chan. Okay. 
okay. I'd be happy to write about again. Okay. Uh, I think they were uh, they were just a lot of fun. Okay. Um, uh, and there's certainly more story to tell there, so okay. I'd, I'd love to play with them again. But you know, I'm I'm a, I'm a writer for hire, and the cool thing is is that is that when I'm given a job, you know, I usually get enough leeway to to find characters and find a story in the world that I absolutely love. Right. And so I mean, how much fun would it be to write hard boiled detective stories? A worgen a worgen detective with a gnome assistant. I mean, you know, I mean, I mean, think, think, Worgen Jim West and Artemis Gordon oh, as a gnome. That would be awesome. okay. I mean, you I mean, know, this is that's I mean, definitely different, but I think it would be a very good read. <laughs> yeah, it would, be, it would be so much fun. Right, it would be so much. Absolutely, fun. yeah. Oh man, that'd be cool. Well, that's all the questions I have. So, right, cool. I, yeah, now I'm really excited to read this book even more so. Oh, good, so, good. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, I appreciate you're your more time than welcome. and sure. look forward to reading the book. All right, thanks much. Thank you. Yep.